Yeah, what, what, what happened? What happened? What? I saw some things. It was right there. It was right there. There were footprints. I saw it. You saw, you saw, saw footprints? I, yes, I saw them. The sheets. I saw it right there. I saw them. I saw them. There's someone in here. There's someone in here. Sam, put that stupid thing away. You're the one who bought it for me. Who you gonna spray? Who? James, I saw it. I swear. Hey. See, Adrian will haunt you if you let him. Don't let him. So in this movie, yes, you're sinister. Super sinister. Super sinister. Is that a, is that a good way to put it? Yeah. So you're sinister, you're invisible. That's not a spoiler, I think, I think <laughs> we know. And you're stalking your ex. Yeah. So tell me, how did you prepare to be a good stalker in this movie? What did you do? Did you watch anything? Do you know Cape what? Cape Fear? Did you, like, what did you do to really get we into didn't, the movie? I didn't actually watch, funny enough, I didn't watch any of the old Invisible Man movies as prep. I, what we did, because the movie fundamentally is about domestic abuse and about this relationship, right. so Lee wanted to make uh, that as as honest and tell that story as honestly as possible. So, a lot of the prep that Lizzie and I did was we had to sit down and we did it over a couple of weeks. We would sit down and discuss the dynamics of this relationship. And so, it sort of informed her character and then in turn kind of informed mine. So, a lot of it Lee had written, but um, we wanted to make sure that with Adrian, uh, we made him as as kind of complex as we possibly could because that's what these types of people are like. So a lot of it was just building, just just kind of putting pieces together and building a lot of watching interviews of uh, specifically people that had unfortunately been in, gotten out of domestic uh, uh, relationships where there was domestic abuse. So it was kind of piecing together that way. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what I did. What would you say makes a good stalker? What is some? Ooh, I don't think there are any good stalkers. Well, I think that's in a thing. movie, <laughs> not in real life, but in a movie. What would you say is something that makes it believable? Something that would really grip the audience that's not over the top. What are some ingredients would you sprinkle in there? I think you probably have to ask Lee that, because I mean, I just show up and and stand where I'm told. Like I right. don't know how much input I had into the stalking part. He um, he wrote a really really solid script mm -hmm. and um, a really interesting take on if you're going to take this property this is the way to kind of do it especially nowadays this right. is kind of how you deal with that and i think the movie is fascinating with the way that it deals with stalking and it deals with obsession and it deals with narcissism and right. um, sociopathy all of those things it's uh it's a it's a really it's a really kind of brilliant movie now, do you as an actor, are you ever, you know, afraid to play a role like this that people will remember you for forever? Like, you no, know. No, I think, I think that like when it's well written, I think your job as an actor, it, it's only made more enjoyable. And I think that I really wanted to work with Lee and I really wanted to work with Lizzie. Right. And so it was kind of a no brainer. And I, and I do think it's important that we, you know, in the world that we all work in, that we we continue to to, to um, present people like this on on film and to show the world because we've all met people like Adrian. That's the, the terrifying thing. We've yes. all come across someone, whether it's an agent or like a producer or like, do you know, someone that's right. in a position of power that you go, oh, I don't know why you make me really uncomfortable, <laughs> but you do. So. Right. I think it's uh, it's 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 kind of one of the joys as an actor, and it's nice. It's fun to play the villain. Like right. it's fun. It's fun. I hope everything works out. People Thank are gonna you. hate you so much. <laughs> it's great Good. to meet you.